Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I hope you love Disney and love, love, love flowers because honestly, the majority of this video is me placing flowers over and over again. I wanted to do this Rapunzel build because I really enjoy doing the outsides of buildings and placing a ton of flowers like I was just talking about. I think that's like really fun and making it more realistic looking, like I have a really good time doing it. So that was the decision I wanted to go with for this build. I do spend some time on the interior of the actual Rapunzel build, but you can't really live in it because it's quite small and I decided to focus more on the exterior than the interior. So I do use a lot of the same plants over and over, but I think the biggest rule of thumb when you're placing a ton of flowers um, on something is to use ones that are similar, but you can change the color patterns. So I do end up changing the colors of different plants that are the same plants with different colors, if that makes sense. So I do have a lot of the repetition, but I think it looks good enough as different flowers. And I also didn't have a very good vine look that I wanted to have on this one, so I want the more flower, like super fake look for it. So that's why it looks a lot more cheery than I kind of wanted it to look. Not that I wanted to be a depressed Rapunzel necessarily, because I am going for the new version rather than like the original grim storytelling of it because I find that quite depressing and during these times I would rather be thinking about the happy version of Rapunzel while ev where everything ends well and everybody is happy. So that's what this build is about. So this build did take me a little while to complete because of all the flowers I was doing over and over but it is ultimately a lot shorter of a video but it's mostly because I'm just placing the same things over and over again. Um, I also decided to place it in Glimmerbrook because I don't play in Glimmerbrook very often and I want that kind of feel from it where it's like mystical, magical almost, and I felt like Glimmerbrook was very appropriate for that. So here I am placing down some of the beginnings of my massive flower garden that I'm about to build. This is by far the longest part of the video, so honestly, if you don't enjoy the satisfying placement of flowers over and over again, this would be the prime time to fast forward. I personally really enjoy putting these down. Like, I could go for hours just placing things over and over again just to get the like perfectionist look because I try so hard to make it look exactly how I want it and I have really high standards, so I try really hard to make it all look so realistic and so full. So halfway through I'll like turn the cameras and look and be like, oh, I missed a spot and I need to add more. And I end up I think overdoing it a lot of the time where I'll have so many flowers that it's almost like oh my gosh this looks super fake and not like a real thing but I think in the context of a Disney film it works quite well so I do have a lot of flowers and I hope you enjoy watching me put flowers for hours and hours So over here I did decide to have like a little rock seating area. I went with a more modern take on the Rapunzel story. Maybe she kept the tower and is now able to roam free rather than being locked in the top. So I wanted to have like a little outside area since the character Rapunzel herself is so in love with uh, being outside and enjoying all that. Uh, here I am building the interior and honestly I had a really hard time because I wanted to go with the idea of uh, the way she paints all the walls in the film and how she's always painting stuff and all the time but there's no real wallpaper that encompasses the way I wanted to so I decided to just do a bunch of random wallpapers as if she had painted them. You guys let me know if you think that's appropriate or not. I wish there was a better design for it where it would look like it was painted. Uh, it's also quite small so I didn't have that much stuff in there and I didn't put any flooring down because I felt like it was still kind of that older vibe. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it. I hope it lived up to your Disney fantasies. 
and feel free to leave a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want more content like this, and in the future I might look into doing some more Disney videos, so please let me know how you feel about that. Thank you guys again so much.